Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment Channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? So first things first, let's get into Megan Thee Stallion's new comeback performance, okay? So she recently uh, made her way back to the stage after she's been on hiatus since the end of last year, um, you know, after the entire trial and all that stuff was going on. You know, she just took a break. She just dipped out, you know what I'm saying? She said, I'm out, okay? Now, this performance was pretty decent. It was nothing too crazy to go about, but people just been talking about it on social media, um, like it's just this hot commodity, whoop de whoop de whoop, okay? Now, it was decent, yes, you know what I'm saying? It was decent. I mean, her energy was definitely there on the stage. Her outfit was, you know, typical butt out, skin tight, clothes, you know, just all that, okay? But I do have to give her props for coming back to the music scene. Um, it was just becoming a long time, and it was just, okay, girl, what are you doing? What's happening? Um, and all that rah rah. Okay, now you know during the entire show, um, there was a certain song that was she performed, and it was a mashup. Okay, and um, uh, the person who made the mashup and created it, they're upset with Megan Thee Stallion for not crediting him for her performing the mashup that he made to a Keith Sweat song and Megan's song. Okay. Now, I, don't, I never knew people needed to get credit on stage while they're performing a edited version of a song. I think that it's kind of silly, in my opinion. Um, I just don't see what was the point. Like, what, what was she going to get on there and say? Oh, my gosh, this person made my made this mashup to my song. Thank you. Like, I just thought that was kind of silly, in my opinion. Um, that's the only thing that's kind of controversial about this show. But other than that, it was kind of, you know, basic. You know, not lackluster, just basic, okay? Let's move on to this next topic. You know, congrats to Megan for making a comeback. I guess it's, you know, once it, you know, let's move on to this next topic. Okay, yeah. So it seems like Drake is out here dissing Kanye allegedly. Um, he put the Kim Kardashian audio tape of her discussing about the divorce between her and Kanye in his new song. So Drake put the tape of the Kim K talking in his new song. And it just gives me petty vibes. You know, sometimes Drake can be very petty and very bitchy sometimes. Just real petty and just real sassy. I don't know. It just be throwing me off the wrong. You know, it just be throwing me off, okay? Because, you know, at the end of the day, allegedly, you and Kanye had made up. So what is all this for? What is this sparking? I don't understand. But as you all know, um, you never know what goes on behind the scenes, okay? You never know what goes on behind the scenes. So... I didn't come this far just to come this far and not be happy. Okay. Remember that. You didn't come this far just to come. So, yeah, it's honestly just petty. It's honestly just very petty. But, you know, Drake moves like that. And I think Drake likes the pettiness and he loves the, you know, the drama and stuff like that. Okay. You know, Kanye is already has been going through it with the divorce and all that stuff. And, um, you're just kicking him when he's already down. So, honestly, in my opinion, it's a weak move. It's an L move because his family's on the line when it comes to that. Um, but here's the thing about that, Drake. You didn't like when Pusha T clocked your T about your son. So, you know how it is to be coming for families and all that stuff and what, you know, that has going on. You know what it's like to be um, talked about and used as having your family as a little quick gossip moment. It's not It's not cool. Um, but hey, it is what it is at this point. Drake is annoying. Drake can be very childish. But at the end of the day, let's move on to this next topic, okay? Okay, y'all. So there has been some speculation that Nicki Minaj will be on the Princess Diana Ice Spice song. And it's going to be a remix of the song that she's going to be doing, okay? Now, the reason why people are speculating this is because there has been um, a tweet by Nicki Minaj, um, you know, just basically rapping the lyrics but she put her own spin on the lyrics so people are like oh my gosh it's about to be a remix about to be a remix okay ice spice um and Nicki minaj on the song that's gonna go crazy um in my opinion i would loved it if they collabed on a brand new song i feel like that would have been really good as well that could have worked you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day at the end of the day all right. Um, Nikki did say that she likes to hop on music that's already popping. So that way she's able to just add more life to it. 
And when I say popping, I don't mean like, oh my gosh, the song is just so popular. No, a song that's already kind of has some buzz to it. So that way she's able to, you know what I'm saying, just get on it. Um, now, my opinion, though, I think that will be good. If she hops on Princess Diana uh, remix, that's going to eat. That's definitely going to eat. And I'm going to definitely be here for it, okay? I really do want to see an Ice Spice Nicki Minaj collab. But I hate the fact that people are making this seem like it's going to be a drama scene. You know? Because, you know, you know, within the past couple of years, the people who get featured from Nicki Minaj, they start to act very ungrateful and toxic and stuff. And then they blame Nicki for it. Yeah, people are doing the same thing with this Ice Spice um, rumor allegation. I don't think that it's going to go this route. I, I just don't. You know, you know, you see Doja Cat, she's still being solid. At the end of the day, when people switch up, it, it exposes their character, not Nikki's. Because Nikki is the one doing the, the, the kind gesture of giving them a feature. So whoever switched up and shows out after the feature, it shows who they really are deep down inside. So take it how you want to. But I think it's going to be great. I don't think Ice Spice is using Nikki. You know, she can't use her. Um, you know, she just doesn't have that power. Um, but I just think it's going to be amazing, okay? How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and talk about that, okay? Um, but until then, I will see you all in this next topic. Why the fuck do I sound like I'm closing out the video? Uh-oh. Has Cardi B actually gone broke, allegedly? That is the question of the day, okay? So, um, as of recently, Tasha K, she had posted a little joke for April Fools, okay? Talking about how she paid off the $4 million um, for the case, okay? And she, you know, she lost the case, so she had to pay the money, right? Um, you know, yeah, she posted about that as a joke for April Fools. So, after that, we now see Cardi B online responding to that talking about how so she doesn't have her money and how oh i need my uh money like she was basically just replying to it and this has me thinking is cardi b kind of going broke like i understand you know when it comes to having money you know she's not really broke broke you know in the grand scheme of things but if you had so much money, $4 million would not be nothing to you, honestly. But I mean, hey, when you're not putting out any music, you're not going on, any, on any tours, you're not doing shit but sitting around um, with, what, whipped cream flavored alcohol? And, well, that's that's your business move is whipped cream flavored alcohol and you're doing that out of... No, mm -mm. I'm pretty sure you're going to be banking on that money um, from Tasha because I feel like she doesn't have as much money as she did when she first got into the game. Um, I know that may sound crazy. Y'all may think I'm insane. But listen, she's not on tour. She's not doing anything when it comes to music. No album. I out nothing nothing okay the label is tired i'm sure i mean everybody else is, is is teasing music dropping music teasing albums going on tours everybody is doing something with their careers and she's somewhere at a standstill hopping on people's feature songs okay hopping on featured songs she hasn't released her own solo song since what hot ish okay the money is not moneying no more allegedly so allegedly, she's after Tasha K, um, you know, and that's just my speculation. I'm not, I'm not saying this is all facts at all. This is just something that I think and I kind of am observing. Like, I don't know. This whole thing is kind of weird to me, okay? I don't know. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and talk about that, okay? Um, but yes, y'all, let's move on to this next topic, all right? Okay, Chloe, I see you doing numbers with this new album, okay? Y'all, so as you all know, M Pieces has recently dropped um, her new album, Chloe's new album. And the numbers are doing pretty solid, okay? The streams are out of this world. Um, it has different, like, placements on the charts. Like, it was it's the number one spot, number two, and three spot on top music videos, um, which is just crazy, okay? So, she's doing pretty well with the album. I can say the album is kind of growing on me, but I kind of feel like all the good music has already gotten released as a single, you know what I mean? All the good songs have just already been released as a single with the music video. So when you kind of tune into the album, it's kind of like, eh, okay. But, the, the, you know, the last single was better than this. The last, you know, it's just, it just seems very, oh, uh, mm, uh. And I wouldn't say lackluster because the, the quality is definitely there. But it just isn't nothing like, oh my gosh, Chloe. You know, like the singles are, you know, the singles are really like, blow me away. 
Um, so I don't know. That's just my opinion on that. Um, I definitely love the album, and I love to see that it's being very successful right now. That's definitely a great thing to see. Um, yes, y'all. How do y'all feel about that? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. We go ahead and talk about that, okay? Um, but until then, I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap the bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. And yeah, be safe. Yeah.